Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Scott Tappa here, author of Read Option Offense for Youth Football. And today we're going to talk a little bit about two plays that have worked really well for us the last couple years. Jet Sweep and Jet Sweep Fake Option. And uh, these are plays that have worked really well for getting uh, some of our smaller, quicker playmakers the ball uh, in motion at the snap and have really tr helped to uh, stretch the defense laterally. Um, these have been good plays for us to run anywhere on the field. Um, but have been especially good down within inside the opponent's five yard line uh, either for point after attempts or uh, when we really need help pushing it in. Uh, again, these, these plays were developed uh, with our team in mind uh, being an undersized offensive line, um, usually operating at a pretty significant uh, weight disadvantage from our opponents. Uh, and, and this has helped us counteract that. So let's take a look at how we diagram this play along with some of the nuances of how we block it and motion it and execute it. Okay, let's talk jet sweep right here. Um, we are lined up in our pickle formation, the L sound at the end of the formation, meaning that the Y uh, lines up in the left slot right here. Um, X is split wide. Uh, Z is split wide here too, but we could also put the Z uh, down here attached to the line next to the right tackle in a tight end spot. Um, and uh, th that would be another way to do this. So let's, we could assume that as well. Um, but the important parts of this are really the, the motion and the exchange. The Y, depending on what your cadence is, and depending how wide the Y is split, okay, and that could uh, depend on your hash mark, it depend, could depend on how, how fast the Y is, um, they're going to go in motion uh, on one of your uh, pre-snap uh, cadence indicators, either ready or down or something like that. If you want to use colors, that's fine too. We have instructed our quarterbacks to snap the ball or call for the snap when the Y reaches that left tackle. Okay, so the snap happens then, and when the quarterback gets it, the Y should be right around the left, behind the left guard, okay? Now the exchange here is key. And last year, we started do, going away from a handoff on the jet sweep and instead would pitch the ball forward to the Y, okay? And the reason for that is pretty simple. This is a, a fast hitting play, and it, there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of potential for a fumble or a missed exchange here. If you pitch the ball forward and the Y drops it, that counts as a incomplete pass uh, rather than a fumble. And uh, then you, you obviously just pick it up, start over, uh, rather than having a mad scramble for the ball. And uh, with kids at that, this level, that's a, that's a big thing. If you're going to do it this way, make sure you talk to the referees before the game to let them know that this is how you run the jet sweep quarterback uh, runner exchange. The H here is going to run left, and that's going to set up a different play, uh, the counter to this that we'll show in a second here. Uh, and the quarterback will also run to the left after this. Okay, The blocking out here um, is, is pretty simple. Uh, the right tackle is taking his first step with his right foot to try to draw, draw the, the defensive tackle to his uh, left. The F is going to kick out the defensive end. Or if you attach the Z, uh, the Z is also going to double team the defensive end. Okay? Depends on how you want to draw it up. Um, if you really want to get wide with this, um, or if you really have a, a bigger kid, uh, a really strong blocker here is a Z, you can do it either way. In any event, you're going to tell your Y that he's got to make one hard cut, okay? He can't dance and try to, to juke out these, these, um, these defenders. He's got to just put his right foot in the ground, make one cut, and get upfield, okay? That was a, a little bit tricky for us to teach this year uh, with some of the kids that we ran it. Um, and, and we did see some success uh, even when they did not uh, put that one foot in the ground and make a hard cut. But um, it, it is a, a better run play when that happens. So So that's jet sweep. Let's take a look at the counter to that jet sweep fake 
option left. So this is jet fake option left. Everything about the play is, is the same up until the, the exchange part of it, okay? So at the exchange part of it, the Q fakes the pitch to the Y. The Y really sells catching it and carries out his run and his cutout field to really sell that to these defenders on this side of the field, okay? After faking it, the quarterback's gonna head down the line, running roughly parallel to the H, okay? The H has really gotta bust his butt to get three to five yards of separation here um, from the Q. Uh, if he's too close, that really lets the, the defense guard two guys with one defender, okay? So he's gotta get outfield. Um, that was something that we just discovered in practice is uh, that when that pitch relationship isn't right, um, this defensive end doesn't really have to make a decision. He can guard both of those guys and make the tackle. We have instructed our cue to run right at this defender, okay? So let's just assume that the defensive end is coming up field to that. Um, and then when he draws that defender, he either makes the pitch with his left hand or he fakes the pitch and cuts up field. He can't pitch it too early um, or else that defensive end can – cover and guard both the Q and the H, right? So he's really got to get nice and tight in there before he makes that pitch. The other thing to note here is that if this linebacker just stays put, okay, and if he doesn't follow the Y in motion at all on this, this play is going to have a harder time of working. And if that's the case, we probably won't run the, the option left. We'll probably just run the jet because we'll have a numbers advantage over here. But if we do see that these linebackers in the second level are shifting over, that's when a good time is to run that, that fake and option left, right? You're always looking for a numbers advantage, especially on these perimeter plays. So we draw these plays up against a five-man line because that's what is mandated by our conference. Uh, if, if you'd like to see my opinions on how to block this or how to run this uh, against other fronts that you might see in your leagues, just uh, feel free to contact me. So that's a little bit about how we draw that play up. If you've got any questions, uh, just feel free to shoot me an email at scott underscore tap at hotmail.com or leave a comment below. Uh, happy to get back to you and talk ball with you. Again, this play and many more are listed in read option offense for youth football on amazon.com. Uh, also available, two other books I've written on youth football, 114 youth football plays and... First Time Coach Youth Football. Again, all those are available on Amazon uh, for a reasonable price. Uh, feel free to talk with me about anything you read in any of those books. Uh, I love talking about youth football and, and helping coaches get better. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and have a great season.